All right, guys, so before we get into selecting the target, what I want to do is I want to run this program real quick and I'll show you guys pretty much what we did so far and what we're going to have to do next. So what we did is let me just start this right here is whenever we run the script, the first thing that's going to pop up is this right here, just this interactive prompt. So then whenever clients start connecting, let me run this real quick we're gonna see a little indicator that says connection has been established and whatever their IP address is. So this is my IP address, I just connected to it. So now that we're in Turtle, remember we gave it two um, prompts, custom prompts. You can type in list and then what it does whenever you do that is we built this in the last video. Where are you at? All right, so what it does is it goes through and it lists all of the computers that are currently connected to your server. So it just gives them an ID number, which is pretty much the list number, and then their IP address, and then their port. So then later on, you're gonna be able to say select zero, and you know eventually we're gonna have more, one, two, three, four, five, or whatever, and whenever we select it, it says you are now connected to that computer, and from here, you can just write like whatever you want. So echo, hey, and look on their machine it says hey whatever and eventually also we're going to be able to type in quit and then we're going to get back to our main program so list and i'll show you guys a bunch of cool stuff that you can do with that and how to customize it however you want but just to reiterate what we did so far is we just listed the connections we're just displaying them now in this tutorial what i want to do is i want to show you guys how to actually select a computer so let me stop that and that's what we're gonna do all right so i'll say select a target client and if you guys are like wait a minute i just tried to run this program and it doesn't work like yours did that was another um i have the completed program already and you know that was from that so if you try to run this right now it's going to give you a bunch of errors so you know just a heads up in case you guys were trying to figure that out all right so define get target and we're going to pass in the command right here all right so this function right here remember if they typed in list then it's just going to display all the computers that are connected now once they review that list and they find one that they want to control they're going to write select and then their id number so i wrote select zero and then i was connected now what we also pass this in is the command so the entire command, so this isn't any actual code, so it's gonna be like select zero, select one, select two. So eventually what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rip out this part of the command so we only return the ID number. So it's gonna be pretty simple, but we need to do some weird things. So what I'm gonna do first is just make a simple try. I always call it try catch, try accept, whatever. So this is the easy part, we're gonna command replace and what do we want to replace we just want to replace select and make sure you add a space after this because it's going to be like select zero select 54 and if you just try to replace select then it's going to return space like 64 or whatever so you actually want to replace this and what do you want to replace it with just nothing so now this variable right here should be equal to just the number now another thing that we want to make sure of is right now it's equal to a number but it's in the string format since that's what they typed in so what we want to do is we need to convert it to an integer and i'll just write target right there and you can actually wrap this all in one line but i want to keep things simple all right so now this variable is an integer of whatever the computer they want to connect to and now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get the connection object. So from all connections, all the computers that are connected, we want to connect to target. So whatever connection was in that list, that's the one we're trying to connect to. And now we're just gonna print out a little indicator, say you are now connected to this computer or whatever. So I'll just write, um, you are now, connected to all addresses 
What is the item in the list? Well, that's just target and zero. Zero is their IP, one is their port. So remember, this connection object is what we're gonna return. And that way, they can have a bunch of computers connected, but they can only pretty much um, be interactive with one at a time. It's freaking beautiful. So print after this, remember that, I don't know if that's gonna pop up, but you remember as soon as you became connected to another computer, what it did is it didn't say turtle anymore. It actually gave you the IP address of that computer and that was the new input. So then you know you're not in the interactive prompt anymore, you're actually controlling their machine. So I actually need to convert it to a string in, well, this right here. So now we'll just uh, use the IP address and give you that little greater than indicator. And I also wanna write end equals blank. Because if we just print this out without this parameter right here, then it's gonna print out your prompt and then it's gonna move your cursor down to the next line. However, whenever you have an interactive prompt, it prints it out and the cursor's right on the same line. It's not on the new line. So that's why I need to say end right there so it keeps your cursor on the same line. And now, the last thing I wanna do is I just wanna add in accept. So basically, what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to connect to this computer. However, if we ever get you know an invalid connection, we don't wanna continue on with the program. We just wanna take care of it and let them know that something went wrong. And I'll just say uh, not a valid selection. So maybe whenever they listed all computers, there are only five computers in list, but they tried to select 13, like number 13, and that's, you know, it's not gonna work. So we're just gonna say that. And since we need to return something, then we're gonna return none. And up here, we actually need to return the connection. All right, so whenever they get the target and write select one or select three, it's gonna go through, connect to it, and return our connection object. If we write select tuna or select 828 and it's not valid, then it's gonna just print out not a valid selection, you dummy, and then it's just gonna return none. So looking good, uh, yeah. In the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start sending them commands, getting into the good stuff, so I'll see you guys then.